places to travel in Serbia. A magical place where Eastern and Western cultures collide, where medieval cities with magnificent fortresses and historic monasteries evoke beauty. Oh, and there's some pretty decent skiing in the country as well. Serbia is the melting pot of civilizations today, having been fought over by the Romans, Ottomans, Habsburgs, and others during their turbulent history. Now it's a place to have good times, with everything from raucous parties to beer festivals held in some of the most beautiful locations in the area all in one trip. Hey travelers, welcome back to your favorite channel, The Travelist. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, and yeah, like the video for sure. Today we're going to explore the places that are worth visiting in Serbia, a wonderland filled with the majestic beauty of history. Now start your trip at Guka, a place in western Serbia that comes to life in mid-August for the annual trumpet festival, which fills the town with folk music for three days. Brass bands and soloists compete in heat until a winner is selected. Bands and people frequently dress in traditional garb, and tour companies arrange day tours for guests to enjoy the pleasant moods and local music. The town has a population of about 20,000 people, but due to the festival's popularity, hundreds of thousands of people travel from all over Serbia and overseas to attend. Before you continue your visit, take a look at the map. Look up at the top, there's a green section. Vojvodina is the name of the region because it is used to be under a Pannonian Sea. It is green and flat. Fruska Gora was formerly an island, but it is now a mountain. On Fruska Gora, there are three things to do. Trek, see the monasteries and lakes and dine. Isn't that good? This mountain and its surroundings are home to 18 monasteries and 16 lakes, perhaps more than any other tourist attraction in Serbia. Venak is the name given to the peak of Fruska Gora. The arena is a fantastic restaurant on Venak. Inquire about their mushrooms too. It's created using mushrooms hand-picked from the Fruska Gora woodland. It's simply divine. Those who are daring enough to taste the snail salad will be rewarded handsomely. Now it's time to travel to Serbia's southwest. The town of Ivanjica is worth a visit, even if only to stroll through the major streets before exploring the Hadzi Prodan, Paleolithic caverns, and learning about its long history in the nearby museum. Mount Golija. The highest and most magnificent in the region is an hour and 10 minutes away from automobile. In the summer, the mountains are unimaginably rich, lush and green, enveloping you as you drive. Or stop in a hillside restaurant to savor the view. Golija transforms into a beautiful skiing destination in the winter. Golija Studenica, Serbia's first biosphere reserve, is located within the mountain range, natural springs, three lakes and a variety of flora and fauna to be protected can be found there. And no matter what the weather, no matter what angle you're gazing at Golija from, you're almost always going to be treated to one of nature's most beautiful sights, a lovely peaceful pink sunset. Then there is Tara, a natural beauty spot in western Serbia that was designated as a national park in 1981. Tara National Park is most renowned for a Drina River Gorge, but there's another reason to go, the brown bears. It is said to have 40 brown bears, the most in all of Serbia, with the help of a local guide. You can catch one of these creatures in one of the park's four dedicated feeding stations. Whether you're staying in the area or planning a trip to Belgrade or Novi Sad, bear watching tours are available. Each one lasts a few days and includes a night in a wooden bear hide equipped with high-tech wildlife cameras. If you're out of luck, a quick tour of Tara's highlights, a day at Perukak Lake, and a stroll through the undulating hills with almost no tourists will more than make up for it. Three places around the Tara National Park are worth visiting if you're in Serbia. First, there's the Kalujerske Bear and a nearby restaurant Kod Kurte, which means delectable local dishes as well as the distinctive Drvengrad and Mokra Gora. Second, Dravengrad is a settlement designed by renowned filmmaker Amir Kusturika, making it one of Serbia's most popular tourist destinations. It is designed to seem like old, dynamic style log houses with as little modern technology as possible. Third, Mokra Gora boasts a restored railway trip. The 16km ride along the Argan slopes can be booked. If you have the time, take this picturesque route. You can take this train all the way to the Drina River. As a result, you will get the opportunity to visit several of Serbia's most beautiful locations. More interested in visiting the splash of water? Then make sure you don't miss the Danube, which is one of Europe's largest rivers, and it also runs through Serbia. You'll see Zemun, Kalemegdan, Smederevo, 
and a picturesque Golubak. If you take a Danube fortress tour as a part of your Serbian vacation, all of these spots in Serbia are fantastic to see. You must travel to Novi Sad to see the Petrovaradin fortification. You must go on a sunny day because you'll want to snap a lot of pictures. Golubak is the gateway to the majestic Jerdab Gorge, but it is a breathtaking sight in and of itself. If you still don't know where to go in Serbia, the old monastery, Tumane, is about 10 kilometers from Golubak. The monks have opened a bar where you can have a meal that they've cooked. There's no set pricing for the meals, instead you pay with what you believe is fair. Everyone is welcome. All that is required is that you respect the monks' tranquility. After all your time with the beauty of nature, you can have a look at some of the most beautiful cities in the world. Nis is one of Serbia's largest cities located in the south. This is where you'll find incredible food and even more incredible people. This is not a list of places for the faint of heart. Serbians in particular organized the first Serbian uprising which was targeted at the invading Ottoman Empire. The uprising failed and the Ottoman ruler of Nis ordered that all Serbian soldiers who died in battle have their heads removed and skinned. Almost 1,000 skulls were collected in this manner which was then used to construct the skull tower. Just roughly 60 skulls exist now and if you visit Serbia at this monument, you'll be able to see them. The skull tower was intended to serve as a warning to Serbians but it has now become a symbol of defiance. There was undoubtedly a second Serbian uprising. If you're a wine connoisseur, where should you go in Serbia? Sremsri Karlovci is a small town near Novi Sad. This town located on the Danube's west bank is known for its wonderful wines. Make a day trip out of your visit to Sremski Karlovci as part of your Serbia vacation because you can explore everything on foot. It's not one of Serbia's most popular tourist destinations, but it surely is one of the most interesting. Visitors to Serbia who are interested in wine should not waste any time visiting the Ivanovi's family beekeeping museum. Yes, it says beekeeping, but it's also a winery where you can sample some incredible wines in addition to beekeeping products. Moving along, you don't want to miss a city with a diverse range of activities. Novi Sad is a must-see for completely different and extremely distinct vibes when visiting Serbia. Vojvodina is a Serbian area with a particular Austro-Hungarian history that sets it apart from the rest of the country's tourism attractions. Begin your journey at Militic Square where you can see the magnificent The Name of Mary Church, commonly known as the Cathedral. From there go down to Zmak, Jovina and Dunavska, the two main pedestrian streets until you reach the lovely Dunavski Park. Visit the clock, a prominent clock tower in the Petrovaradin fortification known for its small hand that shows minutes and the large hand that shows hours. You'll have a spectacular perspective of Novi Sad, which is ideal for photography. Finally, if you only have a weekend to travel around these locations, Belgrade is the best destination to go to in Serbia. If you've ever seen a dramatic case of past meets future, Belgrade it is. It is situated at the junction of the Danube and the Sava rivers. Because of its strategic location, Serbia has been a target for numerous conquerors throughout history, as well as those who simply desire to visit. Did you know that it's been torched over 40 times in various wars? It's no surprise that the magnificent Kale Megdan fortification overlooks the confluence. Spend a day of your Serbia vacation visiting it, but opt for one of the underground tours of Kale Megdan to add a feeling of adventure to your Serbia trip. Yes, you will be escorted through the underground passageways by a guide. They offer an English language tour for visitors from other countries who are visiting here. And that's all for today, folks. From bustling urban attractions to peaceful towns and villages dotting the magnificent countryside, Serbia has something for everyone. But before you start packing your bags to head to Serbia, like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and push the bell icon for notifications. Goodbye.